Apple and Lexus's lineup ever since Toyota launched the luxury brand all the way back in 1989. This is the sixth generation of the ES, which comes as a e real wood trim. Always nice to see that instead of the imitation stuff. Overall cabin volume increases about five cubic feet. which gains about four inches of legroom and an inch of headroom. Uh, tons of room back here, really. I don't have any issues and I'm about six feet tall. Uh, Excellent space back here. Lexus offers things like side windows, sun shades. Our test car doesn't have that, but a rear window shade, which our test car does. Are heated rear seats and a rear climate zone. A lot of other kind of entry-level luxury cars offer those. The ES does not. That with better steering feedback, especially if you take Lexus's drive mode selector and throw it into sport mode. You know, it's pretty noticeable. The 3.5 liter V6 has a nice exhaust noise and definitely hustles the car, but our test car's six-speed automatic tends to hunt for gears a lot too. EPA mileage for the ES350 is 21 miles per gallon city and 31 highway and where a lot of runs fine on regular. Now I wish Lexus had taken a page out of Audi's book and ditched some of the frills for consistent up Toyota. It's arguably the best looking ES in three generations of the car and that plus an EPA 40 miles per gallon for the ES For more car relations, hybrid. We've got the 350 here, and it boasts a number of incremental improvements over its predecessor. Some of the frills fall short. .net. Ground with this car, and that plus the hybrid should mean plenty of new buyers. The ES moves from the Toyota Camry platform up to the Toyota. A little bit longer than Lexus's upmarket GS sedan. Up front, you see the automaker's spindle grill. It's using this across a lot of cars now. It's kind of more of a pack. Package for this car. F Sport is a sportier package that Lexus offers on a lot of its sedans and SUVs and hatchbacks. Actually, I don't. Cabin styling is a lot like the GS with a split level dashboard and a lot of overlapping layers here. Uh really get very cold. There's a stitching atop the dashboard that's supposed to look like a leather wrapped dash, a slush molding, and that's kind of what it seems like. Not really anything close to looking or feeling like real leather up there. In the ES interior. They've replaced a lot of it now with painted silver. Doesn't look very good there, but a lot of nice amenities, things like 